Adam Aaron has done it again with AMC Entertainment. Now, there's no denying that this guy enjoys watching the stock price go down. And I say that slightly sarcastically because, of course, everybody wants the stock price to go up. But Adam Aaron is focused on one thing and one thing only, making sure... AMC Entertainment has enough cash on hand to pay him a big fat bonus until the day he decides to retire or until the day he decides to destroy the company. Now, I, I say that and, and I feel a little bit bad doing so because I do own some shares of AMC Entertainment, but we have gone so far off course from the original trajectory of this movement in squeezing hedge funds. Now, we are paying hedge funds. We are selling directly to them to the tune of the entirety of the short interest. Let's discuss the numbers. Let's discuss why AMC stock is going down today. And if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, we've got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and you're earning 5% on your cash balances. Weeble is also available in the United Kingdom, so make sure to check that out down there. Guys, this is not a, a short ladder attack. This is not manipulation. This is not corruption. This is delusion. Now, you have been lied to by Adam Aaron. You have been lied to by a lot of the other guys on YouTube. You have been lied to by a lot of the people on X or Twitter, whatever you're calling it these days. And you have been lied to in the sense that delusion is the reason the stock price has risen in the past. It will be the reason that the stock price will rise in the future. If you cannot see the correlation between 40 million shares being diluted into the market, or announced as being diluted into the market, in a catastrophic decline in price. AMC, if you're not aware, is at the all-time low right now. It was never low. Guys, we were imprisoned in our own homes. AMC theaters were shut down because they weren't essential. The, stock, the company was bringing in zero dollars in revenue, essentially. And, and here we are at a lower stock price. Now you tell me that Adam Aaron is leading us to the promised land. You tell me that he is making good decisions with the company that we own. You tell me that AMC Entertainment is in a good place. You can't. The numbers prove it. The numbers speak for themselves. It's not just me sitting on the screen right now telling you this. Adam Aaron is literally deteriorating the price of this company. Now it is in the name of a capital raise. It is in the name of increasing the balance sheet for AMC Entertainment. And I will agree, okay? AMC is gonna have extra cash on hand. If you were to go out there right now and sell all 40 million shares, we're gonna have $400 million. $400 million is a drop in the bucket compared to the $11, $12 billion in debt that AMC is sitting on right now. $400 million, let's put this in perspective, guys. $400 million is, is about the amount of money that AMC investors lost today. Let's think about that. We're currently sitting on a market cap of $1.6 billion after declining about 2 or 25%. At the time that I'm recording this, it could end in single digits today. But I want to point out, from 1.6, from the roughly $2 billion that it was sitting at, there's your $400 billion. Who do you think just supplied that? Whose pocket did it come out of? Adam Aaron? No, he owns no shares. The board of directors? No, they liquidated all of their shares. It came out of retail investors who were buying the company. Whose hands did it flow into? Adam Aaron's? In the hedge funds that he is selling directly to. Guys, 40 million doll or 40 million shares, sorry, sold directly to the hedge funds who are short AMC. 
and they are short AMC to the tune of about 45 million shares. If you look at the 30% reported short shares that are outstanding on AMC Entertainment, if you look at the roughly 158 million shares that were outstanding, now there's going to be about 200 million shares outstanding, that gives you roughly 45 million short shares. Adam Aaron just sold them directly 40 million shares. How on earth can we squeeze AMC stock if Adam Aaron is selling directly to the short shares? Now, I don't know if they're going to continue going, going out and shorting AMC further. But what I do know is they already own all of the shares that they would ever need to cover. So at the point in time where they do decide to close out of their short positions, they don't need to go and buy it back off of uh, off of us, off of me, off of you, off of anybody else. They've bought it directly from Adam Aaron. That is the most disgusting, sickening, just like stomach-turning uh, event in this entire thing. Adam Aaron selling directly to hedge funds when this entire thing started out of the idea that we would not sell a single share to the hedge funds. It didn't begin about saving AMC. It didn't begin about uh, loving your favorite company. It didn't begin about market corruption and manipulation. It began about squeezing billions or trillions of dollars out of the hands of hedge funds. And this is what it has turned into. Adam Aaron is using you as a bank account right now. He just took one, he just took about $500 million at the current time. It could be much more by the time this day is over. $500 million in market cap out of your pockets and put it directly into the pockets of AMC's bank and selling those shares to the... Guys, I, I don't know how to make this any clearer. Dilution is a bad idea. The reverse split, you guys can see the numbers. You know, this is not a video about... Uh, I told you so or anything like that. This is a video just please begging that people wake up to what is actually taking place here. Adam Aaron is not on the side of retail. Adam Aaron is using his Twitter account to market movies so that you go spend money at AMC Entertainment. Adam Aaron is using retail as a revolving, not line of credit, because he doesn't expect to pay it back. Just as is a revolving ATM where he can take out as much money as he wants. Guys, diluting the stock, diluting AMC shares at an all-time low, that is one of the most idiotic moves I have ever seen. Unless, of course, he still believes the stock price is overvalued. And if you're looking at book value, it certainly is. The book value on AMC Entertainment is a negative almost $50 per share. There's no equity in AMC right now. It is all debt. And this is, I don't know how else to say it other than it is bad news. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments. What are your thoughts on Adam Aaron? Let me know. And if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. And we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro 883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weevil, KuCoin, and Binance. Free Discord. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day. Let's get started.